everybody. So I am pumped to talk to you guys about my new videos I'm going to be putting out. So generally, I'm doing the metaphysical properties of crystals, minerals, fossils, metals, everything. Everything. And those are definitely still uh, forefront on my list of things to do. I want to do every single crystal, mineral, fossil known to man. That's going to take me quite some time. So <laughs> next up, I'm going to start doing something and I can't believe that I haven't really thought about this. I mean, I, I just can't believe it. So <laughs> for the past few years, um, relatively new, I started getting into lapidary and it's, I'm by no means an expert on any of this, but I did purchase equipment to cut rough material and took it only so far, I don't know why, and started getting back into this recently. And I'm gonna start sharing some of these videos while I'm creating some cool stuff. So for example, today I'm gonna take this piece of Amazonite. We have some beautiful mint green, blue, mint green, blue, is that a color? From Brazil, and we're gonna take these, and I'm actually gonna cut these in this one here, I'm gonna cut in three different pieces, and I'm gonna attempt to make some towers. Now, I'm not gonna make towers like cutting these up, I'm gonna leave rough material. I'm still, my favorite kind of crystal mineral is rough material, rough rocks. So what I'm gonna do is take uh, I could get three out of this and I'm going to leave one face we're going to polish and this one same thing this one but I'm going to cut right in half and we're going to polish just one side and see how it turns out and how it looks we're going to cut a base on them so we're going to make towers out of them and let's see what happens all right we're over at the saw and this is going to be the first piece I'm cutting. Beautiful piece of Amazonite from Brazil. It's pretty thick, but it's not crazy. But this should have some beautiful color inside when we get in there, especially once we polish it. So let's give this a go. See how it turns out. I'm going to take my first cut mm, right about there. And Amazonite is not very hard material to cut, so this shouldn't be terribly long, but I will speed it up for you guys on the video. All right, there's the first piece. We were gonna check that out later. And let's get into the next one here. It's like cutting some lunch meat at the deli. <laughs> but Amazonite isn't very hard. It's relatively easy to cut. It just takes a little bit of pressure. Nothing too crazy though. So that part is done. We are gonna go right into this guy next. And this guy is a little chunky, so I might have to flip this around and hit it from the other side to get through it all the way. But another beautiful piece of Amazonite. And I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna cut it right in half. So let's see how this one goes. Slow and steady, slow and steady.
Now, I always knock this thing off. I'm going to flip it around and we're gonna crack through from this side. Cause like I said, it's just a little bit too thick down here and I'm gonna cut through. So I couldn't get the cut all the way through. So let's finish this sucker off. Actually, let me go up here. All right, so put this here. Now, there is one little piece here that I have to nip off. And then we'll finish that with the polisher later. That's good. All right. And I knocked that thing off again. Where is it? Yes. All right, guys. I'm going to now turn the video off and I'm going to hit this with a flat base so these stand upright like a tower and then we're going to finish polishing the face of this guy all right so i'm going to flip my vise around because we're actually going to use this just so i could get kind of a uh i don't know if i actually need that part but just to get a good right angle on it so looking at it we're going to cut this part i think think so let's say right about there so now we're gonna pop over here and what I'm gonna do is take just a little slice off of the thickest area of this so actually they both look identical so if we have the tower standing up this way or this way this way because of this base is a little thicker so we're gonna take a little piece of this off so I can get a nice right angle. And I don't wanna to take too much off, but let's see, where am I at here? Actually, that looks like it should work. Let me go up a little bit. I've learned lessons in the past where if I don't give myself enough material, it doesn't create a perfect right angle. So let's set it to there and cut this like we're cutting a piece of cheese at the deli. So there is a little bit here of, I went a little too hard at the end. I have to let up. So let's nip this little piece off. but we'll work that out later too. So now this will be able to stand upright much better once I got that piece off. And again, this is beautiful material. Look at this, it's gorgeous. And especially once we get this all polished up, I mean, it looks like, it almost looks like Laramar with the just that beautiful blue color, awesome looking. So these are gonna make some really nice ta towers and then you still have the rough stuff on the outside, which I love. So let's finish up and we're gonna hit up uh, the rest of these guys. And then I gotta clean up. And the only thing with Amazonite is, actually it's not terrible, but it's like a little chalky. It makes the water. Um, some of them are much, much worse like Angelite oh my god angelite is brutal it's it's just such thick sludge comes out of that when you're cutting it but let's finish up these uh couple pieces and make them in the towers so this is kind of what I was just talking about earlier. When you cut on this sucker, I didn't 
go up enough into the material and then therefore it's going to kind of sway the blade so you're not going to get a good right angle so let me try this again Okay, hey, that one came out good. We have a nice, rough face, and then this beautiful piece here that was cut. That'll make a nice tower, especially once we polish this up. All right. That one is crooked. <laughs> so we're getting there. This guy, I actually like just the way it is. And it stands pretty nice just how it is. So I'm not going to mess around with this guy and recut. I think it has a little bit of a lean. But just because the rough is awesome on this guy. I was going to make that, well, no, this is the base, but yeah, just perfect. So don't have to do anything with this guy. So the next one, I got to take this one. We're going to take a little bit of uh, off of this so it stands. that'll do and like I said I'm not gonna make these exactly perfect like you're going at a crystal crystal shop with all the but they're still pretty cool and some of these I could even round off the edges on the grinder whatever but I think I'm gonna leave them probably just like this so actually this one let me see how this stands it's got a little bit of a lean to it so let me fix that quick All right, so we got two pieces left. I'm gonna cut this one so it stands um, better than this. I mean, it's, I only got to slice a little bit off the bottom. And then this piece I'm gonna fix so it stands uh, upright. So we're getting there, we're getting there. This one I just got to nip a little bit off, I believe. Perfect, perfect. So now that piece is done. And this one actually has two sides that are gonna be polished and then two rough sides. So we're down to the last one. Just gotta nip this a little bit here. Perfecto. And I guess that's how that was. That's kind of interesting. But it kind of looks like it might be broken or something if you were by this. Let me see how it stands up. It's not bad. It has a little bit of a lean. Actually, not much. But still, pretty cool with the, the, the weird top. I could cut that piece off, but then I'll have a little piece that's polished on the top. So we're going to leave it as is. And... That side's pretty cool looking too. And we're gonna move over to the polisher and get these all polished up. So we are back and we're over at the polisher and we're gonna finish up these uh, Amazonite towers. So I'm gonna put a polish all on this front side. Now, some people draw lines on these because basically what we wanna do with that first pass is really take the entire surface of this thing off down to another layer. But I'm pretty sure I know by feel once we get there. And Amazonite is already soft, so I don't have to take much off of this. I mean, it's not gonna take me terribly long like it would say an agate or something like that. So 
All we're gonna do is hold this on here. Beautiful. Nice and smooth. And like I said, Amazonite is a softer material. I can't get over the color on this stuff though. It's very light, but once we get this polished, it should pop. All right, let's move on to the next one and knock these out. Perfect. Perfect. Now, this guy has two sides. Perfect. All right, so this one I had to go a little bit longer because there's a little bit of a saw blade mark in it, but I think I got it mostly out. So we took a whole bunch of material off these guys for the first polish, and we're gonna move on to the next. We're gonna keep going and polishing, swap to the next grit. And we're gonna keep polishing these guys up so they're got a beautiful shine on them. And now you could really see that color starting to pop out. Just gorgeous color. Well, that one took a little turn there, huh? No pun intended. Let's get back to it. Gorgeous. Look at that color. Beautiful color. Beautiful. One more. All right, we have one more to go here. So that's going to do it for this pad. We're going to move to another one now. We have two more to go. And just FYI, earlier I dropped it in a flung around I, yeah, I can't tell you how many times that has happened and went flying off of the thing so just prepare I'm sure there's going to be many of those moments throughout these videos I, I can't get over how beautiful this color is though it's like such a light light mint blue awesome cool awesome awesome all right, let's get to the next one. We are back again and flipped it to a new plate and we're gonna keep going now, different grit. This is the finest one and this shouldn't take long. And then we're gonna go to the polishing disc with some uh, liquid paste that shines it and polishes it and finishes it up. So let's knock these out on this grit. Perfect. So now we are done with this one. We're going to move on to the final 
wheel, which is just the polishing wheel. And I'll show you that in a second. All right, so we're almost done here. We're gonna throw a polish on these guys now. So the reason it looks pink like this is because I previously used it. It's got, um, it's like a polishing buffer paste and it's just gonna add a nice layer of sparkle, I guess you'd say. So let's knock these out. And these, you don't need a whole lot. You don't need to do this too long, but this is gonna really finish them up and make them look nice and shiny. And we'll do close-ups of everything uh, in the end here. But let me get these knocked out and then we'll do uh, a final reveal. We're all done and ready to show off our beautiful little Amazonite towers. And I'm very happy with the way these come out. I love the color. Just beautiful, soft. Just a light color to them. And really see the texture. It's like almost like a seafoam green kind of color. But I love how the outside shells are still rough and then has that polished face so let me show you and now this one look at the color on that this one is just beautiful let me try to get a close-up of that guy beautiful color and then my favorite part is this outside of this rough one just looks awesome this one's definitely my favorite i might be keeping that one um I do sell, I'm going to start selling whatever I cut and it'll go up on my Etsy shop, which, or you could just go to, if you just go to CourtdaleCrossings.com, it'll take you right there. This one is a double-sided polished and this guy, this came out really good too. Just a nice blend of the rough with the polished face like that and then the biggest chunkiest one this one is a beauty nice shell and beautiful color on it and i'm i, I couldn't be happier I'm, I'm i think these come out awesome and very excited and i love amazonite amazonite is one of those great hand holders where you could sit down with this after a hard day's work and it's calming, it's soothing. It has very light energy, very light, but it will just kind of saturate into your energy body, just permeate, and it's just soothing, calming. Those two words, I think, sum up Amazonite in terms of metaphysical properties. I did make a video on Amazonite at one point, so check that out, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with these guys. So it might take me a while to get stuff posted on Etsy. I, I've been struggling with that lately. Um, but I'm going to have a lot, of, a lot of cool stuff coming up and be putting a ton of stuff up. So keep an eye out. But these, I think, are pretty awesome. And again, this one, I, I think this is, this is mine. I just love that external part that exterior shell part it's awesome looking all right hopefully you like this video and again i'm gonna be back uh making all kinds of cool creations i'm not done with amazonite either i have a lot more cool stuff to uh make just with amazonite love working with it and it's pretty easy to work with all right i'll see you guys next time